is being hovered right now. Yeah. Another one of these mid picks that has rose in priority in recent times. Once again, he is back. Then the third Drake is going to be the one that you know. Oh, oh hold on. They're collapsing on Tian. He's going to be forced to blow that ultimate. The cast is not good to knock him out. And the huge shield and heal is going to be enough to get him to safety. That looked like an unsealed spell, but heal coming out from doing the full health. And now the return, but in goes Teddy and his support able to pick up the first blood in the back line, but doing B and the rest of FTX on the chase. Did they go too deep is the real question here as Teddy is going to be locked down. Effort will go down here. Baker over the wall trying to help him out, but there's that turret and now the visual is going to come out. There's a lot of damage, but no lockdown. And it looks like the mobility. Go on to Tien, end up getting that kill there. You can see now in live, Yeah, it looks like... Fighting for the Cloud Drake, and it is going to go the way of Cuz this time around. But what will be the damage? FPX don't want to go down without a huh? fight here. As what? Effort is insanely tanky, he doesn't seem to die, and now it's a four on three. As FPX a little bit too desperate to pick up the kills. It looks like T1 will be able to lock down three on the back of this. You can see Dombi desperately trying to pick up that kill onto Effort, but it's not going to happen. Now three in the of the game, but that was a very bizarre decision by FTX. After the Dragon went down, okay, cut your losses. Oh, they really want to pick oh, up man. this lockdown, or the shutdown rather, and they're going to hand it over to Aphelios. That was really tricky. We saw that Rift Herald actually wants to take down this mid-tier one. But at the same time, FTX will be looking to trade the turret down on the bottom side. It's a little bit of a skirmish here. Tian, pretty angry after the way this early game has gone. The <laughs> teams, they love to be proactive and look for plays. They're not going to sit back and make the same play. They want to get as much value as possible. And here we go. They get the turret. But have they gone oh. too deep as Chris is going to go down? The Kindred ultimate is too late. Side as, OK. It's going to be denied by the Valkyrie. And that's a lot of damage. J-Shock last whiffs. Yeah, it does, but they should be able to lock down this one. The smite is not going to come in just yet. Khan in the front, but now he is low. As T1, they don't necessarily have to fight this, and no. so they say. No, two and a half items. It's online by 23 minutes, but not quite three. Hold on. Okay, though. they're not backing down. They say, T1, you dare fight us in the mid lane. We are going to chop you down like an old oak of a team that you are. As a lot of poke is coming out now in the mid lane, they clear the wave, and so it is going to out by champions like a Corky. So you don't. Oh, okay. We're just we're not poking. We're just going straight into the backline, oh! and LWX just disappears as Tian is going to be late on the ultimate once again. The burst coming in now from the chase is going to be enough, and this is going to be an easy cleanup. 41. As Cuz though is going to have to use that heal to get out of dodge here, Khan. Running straight into it, and Baker coming back in with the teleport. Should be able to take out Khan here as he is under that turret, but he does not have the pool any longer. Oh! Baker, they're going a little bit too deep after getting the win on that. Uh, right at the very end there. They're going to pick up this Infernal Soul. Gameflies. Now they will, but is it too late? It's oh, now it's Teddy's on late. the Baron. Yeah. And it's too little, too late. Olaf. <laughs> it's like, oh, what's going on? Uh, basically, they need to avoid a team fight. Teddy's just, uh, I mean, he's doing stuff uh, up there. A lot of backs on the side, but Glista is just going to join up with her team. Not going to push it too far, although I feel like she may have been able to as Ingo's Baker once again, but there's the leash from the Karma. Ingo's Aphelios. They're considering getting in Ooh, there, and now Baker. Baker is going to go down, but he does trade. As, again, this, this reckless behavior Baker is coming in today, he really wants to make it you know, extremely sure to everybody that he is the one that's going to be making the plays as Khan wants to uh, try to rival that here as he is going to have to flash away. But do they have the damage to follow it up here? Finally, the, uh, the Kindred oh, ultimate is going to come in on time, but there it is. The huge burst damage comes out from Everton, and that's going to be the cast. The menace from the support, as you mentioned, is going to have the damage as T1 will look to push in and end this game. And T1 are certainly going to be able to do so, I believe, as Eladios is coming up, but I don't think that he can do a lot right now, <laughs> no. I'll tell you that much. No, he's, uh, he's a little bit small this time around. Not really able to do much. He's going to poke down because doesn't even get the kill. Kana going to come in there and take names.
as Zoebe not even going to be able to save his life. Will they? <laughs> Look at how fast Baker is. He's going to go in, pick up the kill, and Baker will get out <laughs> alive. <laughs> Gragas is going to give his life, and that's going to be the end of the game. GG as C1 will.